Hey everybody, 8-Bit Josh here and welcome to the first of many Planet Coaster Console Edition tutorials for the PlayStation 4. In this episode, I'll teach you how to create this really simple entrance that can be used for either a park or a ride. This is meant as a basic tutorial for beginner players. So let's jump in. Okay, so here we are in our empty sandbox map and we're going to go ahead and we're going to click uh, either the left or right button to bring up our menu down here. And you want to go to the create tab, which is uh, its funny in the PC version. It's called building. So I actually rather like that they renamed it to create, but we're going to go down here. I clicked triangle to go to filters and we're going to go to building material and go down here to sandstone. Of course, you can pick any one you want, any building material you want, but if you want to follow along and build what I'm building, uh, we're going to do the sandstone. So we'll hit circle to back out of that, and then we're going to go over here and grab just the four meter wall. So there you go. You can see there's our building and you can see the highlight of where the grid is going to be. And we're going to talk a little bit about that as we actually start building. At this point, it doesn't really matter because the grid doesn't technically exist at this point. Uh, but that that's basically just a reference to show you where the grid will be once you place the item. And if you're wondering, I'm just using L1 and R1. Uh, they they did a pretty good job, I would say, with letting you know what buttons do what and just having it right on the screen. But as we go through, I'll kind of uh, tell you what I'm doing as we go. Uh, so we're, I'm going to go ahead and place this. And then there you can see there's our grid. And uh, typically when you're building, you're going to want to place all of your pieces on within the same grid. So you can kind of see like right here, it's in the same grid here, but we can move it over there if we want. Uh, I'll, you can put it over here in this one if you want, uh, but generally you're gonna wanna do it within the same grid here. So we're gonna place it there. Nice little square right there. And just to kind of show you why you wanna place them inside the same grid, Kind of show you why so you can right away you can see the difference it looks a little bit bigger the one on the right but if we go over here to our roof pieces and we actually don't have sandstone roofs so we're just gonna hit r3 to clear them and let's see let's just go with like let's just go with like the basic basic wood tile roof here so if you place the roof there, you can see it has like a nice little overhang kind of over the edges of the walls. Well, on this one, you can see the roof kind of intersects with the wall pieces a little bit, looks a little less realistic, um, but there are definitely are building methods that work really well when placing the walls on the outside of the grid like that. Um, but since we're doing a really simple basic building here, uh, we're, we're not going to go over that uh, too much today. So even though I said in most cases you're going to want to build your building, your wall pieces on the inside of the grid, you can do some nice things with layering different wall pieces, uh, especially like if you want to use one of the arch pieces. So if we grab this guy here and you kind of place him around the outside, like so, if I can get the camera <laughs> like that and like that. And then you, you're left with this and you have like a really nice kind of depth to your building. And then you can do other things like if you want to place some doors or windows, you know, maybe you want to do the sandstone barred window piece here and you place it right here kind of make it look like a jail if you want. One of the things you can also do, so you have some options down here like 
stick to surface, align to surface, and snap to position, which uh, this one is actually off by default. And right away you can see the difference when snap to position is off, you can kind of freely place the piece around wherever you want it. If you turn snap to position on, it will actually snap the piece right in the middle of whatever piece you're kind of hovered over. So like right now we're over the wall piece, so it puts it right in the middle of the wall. You could also do like on the very edge right there, so you can see it's actually attached to the arch there, uh, but it still it places it right in the middle. So very handy, you can do that kind of stuff there. And in this case, it's actually kind of trying to attach to the arch on the outside. So you can see it's actually floating a little bit. So what I want to do is uh, manually move this so it's flush against the uh, back wall there. And to do that, we're going to go up here to our move options and we're going to go to advanced move. And that brings up our fancy little advanced move tool here. And you can just do L1 or R1 to switch between the different arrows. But in this case, we want the green one. And then you just kind of move the piece where you want. And there you go. Just that simple. So now we have a nice window piece. It's right perfectly center in the middle of our wall piece. And it looks really good. All right, so we have our basic building here. And we're going to actually duplicate this because we want two of these. So we're going to, again, we're going to hold X to bring up our multi select tool. And then again, just hold X again to actually select and then just kind of drag around everything. Make sure we got everything. R1 to confirm. Then we're gonna go down here to duplicate. And now we have two perfectly identical pieces. And it looks pretty good. Uh, this one though, we actually want to rotate it because we have the little Captain Lockjaw poster there on the side. So we want both of those posters on the inside. What we'll do is we'll go down here to our move and then we can just rotate it and X again to place it back down. Now we need to create the piece that goes over top and kind of connects both buildings together. And for that, we're going to just use the top piece here. And do that and then we're gonna actually just place it all the way around all right it's already looking better we do want to cover up the top though we don't want we don't want people being able to see down inside not that any of the guests will probably have a view where they could see down there but just you know for our sake and to make it look like a complete building we want to put a roof on that so we're gonna go down here and then we have this nice little flat roof piece and then what we'll do is we'll just hold square. Bring it up and we'll make sure we get it at the right height, which is going to be about right there. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like it. I like it. Now that we have the basic shape of our building done, uh, this is where it gets to like the really fun part where you can start decorating it and adding all the fun little details and bits and bobs around to, you know, make it look like a fully themed building. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to. We're going to circle out all the way back to the top menu here. We're going to go to all. And then we actually need to clear our filters and we're going to go to scenery theme pirate. One of my favorite new things about the console edition is that they put all of the building stuff, including scenery, under the Create tab. If you're familiar with the PC version, there's actually two separate tabs. There's the Building tab and the Scenery tab. And uh, it sometimes it can be confusing because sometimes you can find scenery under both tabs. In the console edition, they actually put everything under the Create tab, which is very handy so there's no confusion every piece you need to find you're gonna get under the create tab and again we have the snap to position on so we're gonna turn it off actually because we don't necessarily need it to be right in the middle 
you can either do up and down to get to the move tools or just hold down triangle and go to advanced move. What we're going to do is we're just going to kind of slightly place this on each side of the windows here. About like that. And the fun thing is when you place objects like this, the game automatically duplicates the same piece and places it when you're in the uh, advanced move like that. It all it actually places it in the very same exact spot. So an easy way to kind of make sure all your pieces are lined up is to place them with the advanced move tool. And then you can do stuff like this where you just kind of drag it over. And then there you can see we have both the rings there. Uh, both at the same height, same level, and all that, and they look really fancy. Now, I will say one downfall with kind of layering your pieces like this is the hitbox kind of goes over top the whole piece, the whole arch piece there. So, you know, you are you have your cursor, say, on the window or on these rings we just placed. If you try to click on it, you're actually clicking on the arch piece. And that it's something that's kind of it's always been a bit tricky, even in the PC version. Uh, so you kind of have to do what you can to work around that. You know, you could you could select this and. You know, you could just move it out of the way. And then you can select your rings like that. So we're going to go back to our multi select tool and we're going to select both rings just like that. R1 to confirm, then triangle, hold triangle, and we're going to go to duplicate in advanced move. And what this does is what I was kind of talking about uh, just a second ago. It does the same thing. It duplicates the piece, but keeps it in the exact same spot. So what we can do is like we can drag it's going a little slow, but we can like drag them over here on this wall. You could do it again, drag it over here. Go to advanced rotate if you want to. And then you can kind of place them on this wall as well. And then you can kind of do that all around. Now there are other easy ways you can do this as well. And what we probably should have done actually is uh, you could select using our multi select tool, select this wall piece, the window and both rings, then duplicate it. And then we would have, you know, all three items, the wall piece, the window and the rings copied together. And then what you can do is place it, duplicate it again, rotate it. So you, you get the idea. That, that's another quick tip. If you if you know what you're going to build in advance or have a basic idea, you know, you can do this. You can place all your details on a single wall piece, select everything and then copy and build. So we're going to go back to our scenery tab here. We're already filtered. We're still filtered on uh, the pirate theme. And I think let's go over here and let's get some of these cutlasses. And maybe we want to put one of these kind of right at the top here. Now, again, you could use the advanced move tool to get some like fine, uh, you know, fine tune your movement there. But I think overall, that's a pretty good spot for that. Maybe we have a little animatronic pirate guy. He's kind of he's kind of sitting here on the outside. He's just, just chilling. He's just chilling, you know, just kind of leaning up against the wall. He's maybe he's greeting the guests as they walk in. You know, you could even you could do another one. You have this little pirate guy here who's who's uh, who's sitting down. Maybe we want to put him on on the roof like that. But there you go. He's just kind of chilling on the top there. Now, it'll probably if you're ever playing this at night, it'll probably be a little bit dark over here. So you want to get some lights in here. So again, we're going to go back to create. go over here to lights and we're already filtered on pirates so we'll keep it on the pirate theme uh, one of my favorites is actually the storm lantern creates a really really good uh, glow effect I like it a lot so we'll do our little snap to position there 
And you know what? I think I actually want it to be a little bit higher. So maybe we'll put that like about right there. And then because we're in the advanced move tool, it duplicated it for us and we can just move it right over there. And so now we have two of those. You know, if we if we look at it at nighttime and go here to like three o'clock in the morning, but it looks really, really good at nighttime. I love the uh, storm lanterns there. Now we could get really, really detailed with our decorations. Uh, but since this is just a basic tutorial, we're going to keep it pretty simple this time. But maybe we want to add some foliage and maybe some rocks around there. So we're going to go to our scenery tab. We're going to go down here to nature. Now, because we are filtered on pirate, uh, the only thing we have is this little blueprint of these flowers, which uh, looks really, really nice. But we want some rocks and plants and things and since they're obviously not gonna be like rocks that are uh, themed to uh, pirates we're gonna actually clear that out and we're gonna go down to nature region and then I think whenever I think of pirates I think of tropical so let's go to our tropical filter here and then this gives us a whole bunch of different options here you know maybe you want you want to place some trees around here down there we could do like this little guy here looks really good and we'll maybe we'll place this one on here now to rotate pieces like this you can either do l1 or r1 for like kind of like a quarter turn or you could hold down square like the buttons say and then you can kind of move it around like that you could turn angle snap off so this way when you hold down square to rotate you get a nicer, more fine-tuned movement there. Well, maybe put that there. We'll, we'll kind of put it there, have it clip through the building a little bit there at the bottom. Lots of really good pieces here. I like to, whenever I place plants and things like this close to buildings, I like to have them clip through just a little bit. It kind of gives that illusion that you know that maybe they're kind of they're kind of growing up around the plant uh, the building a little bit. Maybe we want to throw a little bit of color in there as well, so we could do something like that. Get some of that in there. Maybe we'll do one. We'll do one of these over here. Kind of rotate it, and you can see already it's it's starting to come together pretty well. I actually think I want to move this guy a little bit, so. Let's just do, let's just kind of move him, say right there, kind of rotate it so the plants, the trees aren't actually like growing through the building. That wouldn't be good. And it's coming together really well. Maybe you want to throw a couple rocks in there. Something like that. And we have ourselves like a, a, a nice, it, like I said, it's really simple. It's supposed to be simple, but it's a nice basic little kind of starter entrance way, if you will. And there you go. I think that looks really good for just a very simple kind of, it's not anything too crazy, but I think it works. now. Next thing we want to do is we want to line it up with our path here so that when the guests walk into the park that they will actually walk through this. Now because some of these aren't actually attached to this building, what we're going to want to do is hold down our multi select tool and we're just going to want to select everything that we placed, go to our advanced move tool and then we very easily be able to just kind of move the whole group together and then just do a little bit of fine tuning to get it kind of kind of where we want it to be i think that looks pretty good and then you can just go to your path whatever path type you want you know maybe maybe in this case you want to do like like a sandstone path it kind of matches with the sandstone walls we used and then just kind of have that go through like so and there you go there's our very simple little basic entryway for a park 
It has some nice animatronics there. Like I said, we got this guy leaning up against the wall. We got this guy sitting up here watching out. They're both checking out to see who comes into the into the park. And I think that looks pretty good. So if you have any questions, be sure to leave your comments, suggestions and feedback down below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. If there are other things you would like me to cover, of course, you can let me know that as well. So I think I'm going to leave this guy here. So like I said, be sure to leave your comments, suggestions and feedback down below. I am 8 Josh and thanks for watching. See ya.